Hey. Francois here. Nice day in the Sea of Cortez today. Just about to finish our uh, big passage from uh, Bahia San Francisquito to Santa Rosalia, uh, 78 miles. Uh, we left really early <laughs> or late, depending on uh, how you you cut it. It was 10:30 uh, at night departure. We just wanted to make sure we arrived to uh, an unknown harbor uh, in daylight. So uh, we're just timing it backwards this way. We've made really good time. It's uh, 12 o'clock now, and uh, we're about six miles away from our destination. Although I think it is one o'clock now because we have uh, sailed through a time zone, which is the first time I've ever done that on uh, a sailboat. So, uh, yeah, just gives you an idea of some of the distance we travel. We had a uh, pretty nice night, uh, nearly full moon uh, for the first half of the night. And uh, around 3.30 a.m. it got really dark, the moon kind of set. All the stars kind of reappeared. Um, started off with a little bit of an offshore breeze from the uh, west and uh, we sailed for about an hour at about five to seven knots uh, and then that died completely and then we motored for a couple hours uh, but then as dawn came we had uh, quite a bit more wind than we were expecting. Um, again westerly about 15 to 20 knots uh, nice reach angle though so it was totally uh, kind of manageable but we did we were a little bit further away from shore on that portion of the uh, of the passage so uh, there was a bit more fetch there the waves kicked up pretty quick so it was a pretty steep chop but uh, triumph uh, handled it um, like a champ uh, didn't really a little bit of spray but barely any really um, other thing of note we were wishing uh, we left our down jackets in the truck when we left uh, and we were both wishing we uh, had them last night it was definitely really damp and uh, definitely cooler than we think here at night so definitely that was our one takeaway from this this one or just get the foul weather gear out. We have a bag full of foul weather gear in the front that uh, I guess so you just pull out, but uh, I guess we were too tired to do that and uh, decided to stick it out. So yeah, other than that, uh, after the, the windy portion lasted a couple hours, um, then it kind of died off real quick and went to the stern, uh, shook a reef out, um, Put the screecher instead of the jib and then eventually uh, put up the spinnaker um, for a nice portion just going like four or five knots for a couple hours there with the kite and uh, the cool thing about the kite today is that uh, I ran a, another line to the one of the bows and uh, was able to bring the tack of the sail to windward which uh, made it considerably easier to sail a deeper angle you can kind of just cleat it there and um, I've always found before there was a really narrow groove with uh, the, the spinnaker when you sail deep angles but uh, not so anymore with that setup so uh, just bringing the tack a bit to windward works fantastic so definitely be doing doing that again in the future and then we motored again this the wind kind of got a bit slow there for a while so we put on the iron horse uh, for a little bit and uh, and sure as soon as we did that for about an hour uh, the wind picked up again. I was about to put the spinnaker back up but uh, as it does here in the Sea of Cortez the wind tends to pick up sometimes rather quickly so it's good to be a little bit patient in sail changes making sure that uh, you don't put up the wrong sail too quickly so ended up uh, putting the screecher back up and cruising along now seven and a half eight knots real nice flat water sailing Jill is loving it so yeah in a nutshell that was our uh, passage to Santa Rosalia um, another one ticked off um, definitely a, 
a lot of much shorter passages they're coming up just uh, that we can do in the daytime and uh, Jill is really looking forward to a uh, a fresh water shower she's uh, itching for one of those uh, literally literally so uh, yeah fish tacos and cervezas are on me once we get there maybe some pizza will be had and uh, yeah we are uh, sort of getting to a little bit more of a civilization here Santa Rosalia is the first kind of real town that we've hit since uh, San Felipe um, the highway number one uh, the main highway that goes down Baja is uh, goes through there so it's kind of an old mining town um, so we'll see what it has in store for us but uh, feeling good about this passage we just accomplished it's a good feeling and just feel more comfortable with uh, with the boat and the boats rig good and it just um, yeah everything's working pretty well the other takeaway from uh, this passage when you reef um, watch out for overrides I because we were on uh, starboard tack and then I tried to use the secondary winch to put the main down um, just the angle wasn't quite right and then I wrapped the um, main halyard real good along the winch and uh, had a frustic to the rescue and winched it with another winch and managed to get it off but it did put a little kink in the line so hopefully uh, it's uh, it's okay and uh, doesn't compromise our, our halyard here but I, I think it'll be fine it's a pretty thick line and uh, it's it's on the tail end so it's not really uh, super critical spot on it so yeah so that's uh, that's a Francois here for the first of our Baja 2018-19 trip. See, check it out on YouTube.